I'm Glenn McJiggleson and this is your breaking news. After years of political strategy and propaganda, the final motions were passed today to bring in a new gun and knife law. For the first time in history, it has simultaneously been passed in both the UK and USA. Both Washington and London have worked closely together developing the law, and from midnight tonight, all guns and knives will not only be illegal, but physically seized. This is possible due to a new breakthrough technology developed by Steel Libertech Industries. We go now to a special report with our man on the ground, all of my cup and balls. Yes, uh, thanks for that, Glenn. Yes, I'm here at the Steel Libertech Global Headquarters where the new technology has been in development for several years. After midnight tonight, Steel Libertech seizure system will go live and every gun and knife owned by the public in the UK and USA will instantaneously be confiscated and destroyed. Now, this includes every type of gun ever created and also every type of knife, from swords all the way down to your typical and simple dinner knife. This confiscation process will be achieved by an extremely advanced array of orbital satellites, which will instantly lock on, beam away and destroy every public gun and knife in existence. The satellites have been launched over several months in preparation for tonight's event. Come with me as we go meet the man behind this remarkable technological breakthrough. I'm here in the Applied Sciences Lab where this transporter beam technology was conceived and developed. And there is the genius mind behind it. Perhaps I might be getting a few words with him. Um, Dr. Papadopoulos, uh, can we have a few words please? Now, can you try and explain to our audience, in layman's terms, what will happen tonight when your system goes live? Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. As I was saying, my satellites have been designed to locate the specific temporal resonance of any type of gun or sharp object and beam them away through the space-time continuum. So basically what you're saying is that every gun and knife emits its own unique temporal signature, which the satellite will lock onto, then transport them into a mini self-collapsing black hole for destruction. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Glenn, in the studio. We're told to expect a 99% reduction in crime, and the supporters of this action are heralding a new utopian society free from crime and violence. Do you have any final thoughts or predictions on what the future will hold? Well, I have to tell you, Glenn, I am not convinced it will do anything to reduce crime, and I don't think it will bring about any kind of new paradise. The way I see it, all that's going to happen is the general public are going to suffer in their day-to-day -day lives, uh, and of course, uh, you know, the criminals will adapt and uh, continue to perpetuate crime. Thanks for those thoughts, all of my. Um, we have some breaking news. Protests have broken out in the capitals of both countries as the clock nears midnight. God help us all.
Good morning, I'm Glenn McJiggleson, and this is our breaking news. Well, it's the day after the UK-US mass confiscation when the transporter beam technology was used to take everybody's guns and knives. We're being told the system worked perfectly and both the UK and US governments are calling it a complete success for freedom. The social justice warriors have now taken to the streets to celebrate their historic victory. Yeah, now I'm on the streets in what has turned into Social Justice Party Central. I might try and get away with this lady over here. Excuse me, madam. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions on your feelings about last night's events. Well, dear, it's a day for freedom and a new world order. My safe space feels safer than ever before, and I feel like I'm going to lead a long and wonderful, fear-free life. Well, there you have it, folks. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. Let the new world order begin. The social justice warriors have had their day, and the future looks bright. Hey, you shit stain. What did you just call me? What, 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 me? I just say I like your beans and your pick a stick. You mother f. <laughs> nee, I, I mean, no. You join me at the scene of yet another brutal murder where carrots and baked beans have been used to commit the crime. Uh, this time, police are still working on a motive for what they are calling a senseless and wasteful use of good food. Madam, do you have anything to say on the matter? I'm sure you'll agree her silence is the best thing she's said in years. Back to you, Glenn, in the studio. <laughs> Thanks, all of my. After 10 years of continued and increasingly ridiculous seizures, the radical law has finally been deemed a complete and utter failure. It seems no matter what the government takes or bans, crime continues to happen, and it's the general public who have suffered throughout this time. Therefore, today brings new laws into effect that will make all guns and knives legal to carry and own. Finally, trust has been put back into the hands of the people. Now to a special address from our supreme leader. Yeah, man. So I'd like to first apologize for what I've put you all through over the last 10 years. After my recent conversion to Rastafarianism and my intake of large amounts of cannabis, I'm seeing the world in a whole new light and I've had revelations that actually it's the individual who perpetrates the crime and not the inanimate objects. Therefore, from today onwards, all knives and guns are legal to own. And while I'm here, I'm also legalizing cannabis. God bless freedom, and God bless the United States of America! I'm Professor Fused, expert in logic and common sense. So, 
Let's get this concept understood. It's the person who commits the crime, and all blame must be solely placed at mankind's door. It doesn't matter what you make illegal, ban, or remove from the public. If somebody wants to commit a violent crime, they will adapt to what they have around them. And if you take everything away from us, you still won't stop crime until you deal with the only reason why it happens in the first place. So leave us knife and gun addicts alone, you bastards.